The object links allow the linking of any type of visual object um, with inside any camera. So, for example, I can just drag, I can just select the cameras I want and drag and drop. For example, it can create an icon. So I can select between very different icons. Uh, we have a very extensive uh, library of icons. So I can, for example, select these uh, cogwheel here, but I don't want this link. Um, I can also create a link um, on the format of a zone. So I can just create uh, the zone here and select the different color. If I select no color, it will actually be invisible to the user and um, it's just when they hover the mouse over the link, uh, they're gonna see that the mouse icon is gonna change for a hand, um, and then they can click on the link. And, but not only cameras, they can also link uh, cameras to maps, for example. So if I wanna show the, um, if I wanna show a map, here, so the, the person will click and open a synoptic map of that uh, location, for example. The synoptic map can have alarms or, uh, uh, and, and cameras and, and other stuff. I can also um, use global events to actually trigger actions, uh, as for example, to open a gate um, or tr uh, trigger an alarm anything that the global event can do and, and the actions. Uh, I can also link to analytics, LPR objects, open a web page, or even the operational maps. I can also link to public views. So the public, public uh, saved views can also be linked to cameras. So whenever I select uh, an icon and, and click on the icon, it will actually uh, change the whole layout uh, and will load that pre-saved uh, layout um, on the link. So it's a very, very flexible feature to allow navigation through objects and uh, actions.